headed down to the fabric store. Got a photo shoot this weekend at the museum. The theme is, um, it's an Art After Dark event, and the theme is tropical and animal print. So uh, there should be some pretty cool characters in the building. This channel is supported by SumsBrand.com. We love the likes, but the merch helps to keep the content coming. Visit Sums Brand for original art, graphic tees, and more. And use the code SUMS for 10% off. The fabric store is your friend. I needed a backdrop for a portrait shoot at the Newark Museum of Art. Something easy to set up and pack up. So instead of using a roll of paper, I decided to hit up the fabric store. Luckily for me, this is one in my neighborhood. But before I went, I knew the theme of the portrait event was tropical and animal print. So the background had to be something that would work well with the possible patterns and colors. One thing to keep in mind, the fabric store can be overwhelming. It's like a toy store or a candy shop, and you might want to buy everything. So before you go, have an idea of the color, the material, and how much you want to spend. The price range can be from $5 a yard to $50 a yard, depending on the material. Here's how it went for me. Heading down to Halsey Fabrics, about to hop in here real quick and see what they have. I want to see if they have some cool textures, some cool colors, things that we might find useful for this shoot. This is a cool material. It's kind of thin, so I might have to double up on it. I might make it cool. I like how it's not like stiff. So I'm expecting people to come with like plant um, prints, color, and uh, like cheetah prints and animal prints. So whatever's going to pop against something like this. I like this pink too. Kind of similar material. Oh, nice shoes. Thank you. <laughs> we'll make our decision and figure it out, but we got mad fabric in here to choose from. Got we needed. Got some orange satin and some leopard print. Um, We'll see how it comes out. Satin has like a nice shiny side and also has a dull side or a side that's not that shiny. Rather. So it's be interesting to see how it looks. I'm probably going to shoot with one light, a hot light, and not really strobe it. So um, I'm, cu I'm curious to see how it comes out. If it's too too shiny, too many highlights or whatnot. So see how it goes. Fabric is sold in yards, so you're buying three feet increments. I wanted to be able to fully raise my backdrop, so I got three yards of fabric, which is about nine feet. Because the fabric is not wide enough, or as wide as the backdrop, I got two orders of three yards. So at least two people, or maybe even three, could fit. Things to consider about your backdrop. Are you building a set, or is this something that you need quickly? I used heavy duty clamps to hold the draped fabric over my stand, but you might want to put rivets in yours and slide it on the stand or hang it on a wall or maybe you want to stretch the fabric like canvas or maybe you want to sew it all together i went with a quick and easy route but you might have a better idea think about the fabric price versus paper price i mentioned before that the material determines the price per yard but consider how dirty your paper will get or how often it'll rip how fast will you go through an 80 dollar roll of paper Fabric folds, paper rolls. So in your next shoot, before you go out and get a generic colored backdrop, see if a trip to the fabric store inspires you. That's it for now. 
and thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, hit subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.